In this video, we'll be walking through how to connect a CR403S to Codasys and also how to configure the correct settings inside of the software. So let's get started. First, launch Codasys SP18 and start with creating a new project. Select the IFM Controller V4 and the IFM Ecomat Basic Template. This will load a template file that we can get started with. And as you can see here on the left, we have the Ecomat Basic as the root controller and then the two internal PLCs. Now, we're going to connect to PLC2, so we'll right-click on Application and click Set Active Application. Then we will go to the Ecomat Basic, double-click, and navigate here to Codasys Local Gateway. For this connection, I am using the IFM CanFox, the EC2112, connected into the C1.0 connector on the CR403S. So this would be the CAN0 port, which is the sixth pole, in the middle of the PLC. Now we have to make sure the gateway is set up correctly, so click on Codasys Local Gateway, and then click Get Active Configuration. Currently, the gateway node ID is one for this connection, but to use the IFMIOT communication service, we need to set this to 123, and then click Save Gateway in the bottom right. After clicking, it appears as though nothing happens, but your configuration has indeed been saved. And just to confirm, you can click the same Save Gateway button again, and you will get this prompt. Do you really want to download again? You can just click. No, it already has been saved. Next, take note of the little note here. It says, Restart Gateway Manually. This lets us know that we need to restart the gateway. To do that, come down to the taskbar and open the system tray by clicking the up arrow. Then right-click on the Codasys Gateway and hit Stop Gateway. Leave that off for a couple of seconds. Confirm it is stopped by hovering your mouse over the icon. Then go ahead and restart the gateway again, and we can see the icon has changed to red, which means it is running. So at this point, we'll come back to communication settings and click Scan Network. And now we see the CR403S, and we can select that from the tree. Note that if you scan after you change the gateway and it does not work, you may need to reboot your PC for the settings to take place. Now, click OK. The default username is admin with no password. Now we can go ahead and go online. You can either go from the pull-down menu or click this icon here. Click Yes to initiate the downloading process. We see the progress down here in the lower left-hand corner. Now that it is done downloading, we can come up to Debug and click Start. You can see down here at the bottom this has changed to Run. And on the PLC, you can observe Sys0 blinking yellow and the solid yellow on Sys1. The PLC is up and running, and you're all finished. As always, you can check out our website for helpful information on any of our products or contact us at info.us at ifm.com or call into 1-800-441-8246 to speak with somebody who can assist you. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.